It all started two years ago when we were sophomores. It was a Thursday and Newton and I just got back from D Hall. Now this particular Thursday, Newton said something that spoke directly to my heart and stomach and stirred in me a hunger that would lead to my present precarious predicament, sleeping on concrete. We were bonding like we normally do after a D-Hall meal. That's it, Whitey. I've had it. They take two pieces of stale bread from yesterday's trash, slap on a processed square of orange cardboard they call cheese, then they put it under a Bunsen burner for a minute and a half and have the nerve to call it a grilled cheese sandwich? It's insulting. The grilled cheese sandwich is a time-honored staple of the American lunch cuisine. Nestled comfortably in between Wheaties for breakfast and meatloaf for supper. So as of this moment, I'll never eat one of those D-Hall grilled travesties ever again. And to all those lost souls standing in line, they need to taste a good grilled cheese sandwich too. Now Newton always knew how to get me thinking. He's a crafty ass dude. That's how he got his nickname. His double major in chemistry and hotel restaurant management on top of my hood credibility and entrepreneurial nature was the perfect formula for instant success. We got to the lab right away. That looks good. It's the water. All right, now Preston, we all know your high ass like grilled cheese sandwiches. Take a bite of one of these and let us know which one hits harder. And that's the one that's got cheddar and Colby Jack on it. Mmm. God, these are addicting. So how do you feel? Full, tired, bloated, and happy. I gotta tell my friends about these. What can we do about these side effects? I don't know, I'll get to work on that. I'm about to roll to Costco and see what's up on that bread shipment. All right. Word. All right, I've developed a perfect cocktail, easily attainable ingredients. Now these are gonna combat the effects that Preston was talking about, but they're not gonna detract from the taste. First, our consumers can't eat while they're sleeping. A mere 20 milligrams of caffeine will ensure an alert consumer. Secondly, to negate the satiation process, we'll add 3 milligrams of Remerol, a prescription antidepressant that also increases appetite with a bonus side effect of slight euphoria. We'll top off each delicious sandwich with 10 milliliters of liquid laxative. This will empty the stomachs of our consumers and dispose of any drug evidence in the GI tract. We will smear this paste on the lower slice of bread on each sandwich. Our unmatched combination of potent cheeses will more than match the taste of this chemical supplement. You're a genius. Now be straight with me. Is it safe? Of course it is. These are negligible, yet effective amounts of each substance. The prospect of delivering a perfect grilled cheese sandwich to the needy public was what sparked this business plan of ours. But did our little chemistry experiment change things? Maybe so. But when I put my hand in my pocket and all I felt was lint, I had to do something about this quick, fast, and in a hurry. So we got to pushing. What's good, yo? Yo, man, how's it going? Preston said you guys were hiring some, uh, some dead grilled cheese sandwiches. So, uh, how much? <laughs> Our sandwiches hit the streets harder than a Paris Hilton sex tape. Anyone and everyone was grubbing our product. It was the new gold standard for a classy sandwich. The Reuben was defunct. You weren't anybody unless you were cheesing. In fact, the eating disorders among sororities plummeted 78% on campus during our reign as cheese lords. And D Hall was none the wiser. We rose faster than cornbread and skillets, and the money came rolling in. Good, man, I got that cheddar. Let's push these loads. Yo, Newton. Damn, Newton, no! Creamy tomato. You son of a bitch. I told you, don't get full on your own supply. Let me get one more sandwich, buddy. Just one. After Newton OD'd, everything changed. The doctor said they found traces of antidepressants in his system. 
but what got him was his lactose intolerance. After a nail-biting half hour in the ER and three days in the bathroom, he went back to his mom's to recuperate. How you feeling, man? I'm okay, I guess. Shit got a little crazy, didn't it? Yeah, it it did. I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. Those sandwiches are just too delicious. It, it tore us apart. Nah, you know what, man? That's it. I'm at the cheese game for good. I looked at the paper today. D-Hall attendance is down 92% on grilled cheese Thursdays. They organized a special task force to start a formal investigation. I'm telling you, man, you need to watch your back. So here I sit in a garage, hiding from the D-Hall goons, awaiting the inevitable. 